Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, sometimes I get on the internet. You do. And I was looking around. And I, I, before I get into it, what do you know about the Coast Guard? Like the U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, They're like one step below like the Navy. Um, uh, that's more than I know about them. I believe that they are like a volunteer I believe, like, you volunteer to be in the Coast Guard. And I think that they are the, generally, they're the first line of rescue for the country. You call the Coast Guard in before you call an army, essentially. Or uh, the police, Coast Guard, Army. Uh, no, Coast Guard, National Guard, Army. Boom. There you go. Yeah. Is that right? Uh, the United States Coast Guard is the maritime security, search and rescue, and law enforcement service branch of the yeah, United yeah. States Armed Forces, one of the country's eight uniformed services. So it, it's actually like an official branch, but it's just like they, they, uh, they, I don't know, they, they patrol the seas and make sure so they're like, right. the, they're like a uh, water cops. All right. <laughs> water cops. Essentially, they are water cops. So, I don't know if they're volunteer. I could be wrong. They're on not, that. I mean, they're like an actual armed service branch. Yeah. They're not the same. I mean, I don't think people put them up with like the Marines. No, like, no, seals, no, because like, no. So, anyways, no, no, no. neither here nor there. I'm not here to discredit, discount, or undercut no, any thank, value of the Coast Guard. Thank you for your service. Exactly. So, I was on Reddit, and you know, uh, at Reddit is full of ads. Hmm? I saw an ad for the Coast Guard. Are you joining the Coast Guard, Jonas? This is crazy. I'm so glad that you decided to use this platform. To tell us all that you're joining the Coast Guard. Honestly, Jonas, I knew you could do it. <laughs> I've seen you training. I've seen, look, honestly, every morning I walk into the kitchen, Jonas has his head in the sink, and the <laughs> sink is my, full hold, of water. I'm holding my breath. As and long I'm like, as I can. what the hell are you doing? He's like, I'm training. And I'm like, what are you training and for? I'm like, don't worry about it. And then, like, the other day I walked in, and you were like, you were like in your boxers in the bathtub, just like, like, sitting in the sink. You're just like, Sitting in the bathtub, like a, like a kid getting a bath, yeah, just hanging out. Yeah, and I'm like, ready. I'm like, why are you swimming in the bathtub, man? <laughs> anyway, it all makes sense. I know, right? It all makes so, sense now. You know, most organizations mm -hmm. are proud of like what they do. Right? Yeah, I guess. So yeah, like, to a certain extent. Yeah. If you would think of like an ad for like the Navy or like the Marines, like what be be one of us, be strong, be a like be a warrior right like that's all we always hear about these be, be a warrior yeah. <laughs> that is how they get trying you to build it up that is how they get you you're not wrong like, i want to be a warrior <laughs> I, mean, I love the ultimate be warrior so, all that you can be so here here is the ad In the it, you know you're only... scrolling through reddit you see all the text it i i it, it reads Think you're too old or out of shape for the U.S. Coast Guard? This is Question what, mark. This is what I'm talking about, man. I'm telling you. Think again. Discover what you can accomplish when you find your grit. Get after it. Mm -hmm. So, like, so their ad not be the one. Be it's like you, you fat and old. We still take you. Come on in. Like, this I, is, this, I felt sad for the Coast Guard in that moment. This is why I'm leaning hard on the whole. Uh, Volunteer, what do you what do I call it? Volunteer, yeah, volunteer thing because they're just like, I don't care if you're 60 and fat, get it, get <laughs> in. We need people to get in here and do stuff. Uh, can, let's see. can you move some? Can you move some boxes around? We got you. Uh, let's see. Oh, there is part okay. The U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary was created in 1939. It is the civilian volunteer component of the Coast Guard. So okay. there is a volunteer component. Okay. It's, well, I guess it's kind of like uh, the reserves, maybe, because like people volunteer to be in the reserves. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not all... It says, well, here's the thing. Is it hard to get into the Coast Guard? I don't know. I assume that it, if you like the official Coast Guard to like get sent on missions and stuff like rescue missions, you have to prove some prowess. Like if you're rescuing people off the coast, like during a freaking thunderstorm and like turbulent seas. Yeah, you got to know what the hell you're doing. They're not going to get me so out they're just there. Gonna, it's like the security guard version of the coast of like the Coast Guard. It's like, hey, Paul, it's like, huh? Get out here and drive the ship around to harbor this tonight. Okay, Dad, we got it. <laughs> Basically, you know what I what I honestly think it is. I think it's kind of a bait and switch. 
Well, I mean, all of that. They're all like, I mean, think about all the people that we knew in high school that went into the army afterwards, and they're all like, yeah, man, they told me X, Y, Z. It all, they have recruiters for a reason. Mm -hmm. They they aren't, I mean, it. I think that they are looking for just mass inductees. So, when, like, I think they get you in with the glamour of the name Coast Guard because you're like, oh, shit, I could be a part of the Coast Guard. Yeah, I've seen boy. those guys. They they rescue people off. They rescue people off the coast of Berlin. I'm flying a helicopter and drop yeah. a goddamn buoy down to a kid in the ocean. And then they're like, well, look, we're gonna sign you up for the uh, Coast Guard Auxiliary. <laughs> But you're still a part of the Coast Guard. You're actually a part of the uh, volunteer branch. You don't have to come in. You can come in if you want. But uh, if you want to come in and move some boxes around. <laughs> come in and move. We need help loading the ships. Yeah. And uh, you know what? Honestly, we got this shirt on. It says Coast Guard Auxiliary on it, man. Yeah. Congrats. You're in. It says you're one of us. Yeah. One of, one of the gang. You want to be part of the community? He's like, I love it. <laughs> so I don't know, man. That's it's, what uh, I think it is. It's... It's interesting. But you can be a Coast Guard axillary if you want. Is that what you're signing up for? Is no. That the, no? You're no. Not, you're not signing up at all. No. No? No. That 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 advertisement didn't I mean, speak to you? It spoke to me. Did it? But in the wrong way. Honestly, Joe, it might be kind of cool to be a part of Coast Guard Axillary, man. I, Are you going to join? Am I going to join? Probably not. But I will have to say it's like... I'm 50, bro. You are basically fifty. Being a part, being a part of that, and like the Coast Guard does do some good stuff in the community. I, I'm assuming, you know. I would think so. I, I would mean, think most, most of the military branches do good things. So it's like rescue. We very much love our veterans. So. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not. By all means, I'm not dis disparaging anything about the, the the military. I was like, probably could have had a better choice of ad. Yeah, thinking you're too old and fat. But they, hey, they, you too old and fat. Come join us. You're like, excuse me. Man, they're speaking to a certain subset of people out there, though, right? Like the guy who's like, you know what, honey? I got low self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> old fat? Yeah, I meet those requirements. Honey, remember you telling me I was old and fat? <laughs> the Coast Guard wants me. <laughs> Even if you don't. Sure, George, go join the Coast Guard. <laughs> I'll show you, goddammit. And then, <laughs> next thing you know, George is out there sea, guard, sea bustling. Guarding the coast. Exactly. They all just stand on the beach with guns. Exactly. Sitting in a boat. It's it's really quite amazing how many different versions of security that we do have in this country. Yeah, Space Force. I mean, <laughs> honestly, you're not even freaking wrong, dude. You're not even wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that is so right. But we have, like... Basic security, we got private security, we have police, we have FBI, we have CIA, we've got National Guard, we got Coast Guard, we got Army Military, we've got <laughs> We got sheriffs, we got highway patrol, we got cops. There's so much secure so much protection. Yeah. Is it really that dangerous? Yes. I believe it is. I heard it, well Go ahead. I was going to say, I heard the governor of New York say is that they have 4 million daily riders um, on the uh, on the subway and yeah. that they have an average of four, six felonies a day. It's insane. But he was like, if you look at the, the numbers, 4 million with six felonies a day, that's kind it's of very low. It's very low. Well, I mean, somebody just got shot on the subway the other day. Yeah, or pushed onto the tracks, or you know, drug sales stuff like oh, lots of stuff happens. I think it's, I would. I would. My guess is a lot of those felonies are drug related. I would assume subway. so. I would. Assume I don't so. feel there's a lot of people getting robbed on the subway. I maybe at night. I haven't well, been to New York in a long time, but mm, I but would. like if you're riding at like 3 a.m. Yeah, you might get robbed. But, like, if it's, like, rush hour and there's, like, a hundred people, like, wandering around, like, ain't nobody robbing you on the train because, like, they're stuck on the train. Yeah. You know, like, if it's just you and them in a car, yeah. What's an acceptable number, man? Of rob? To be robbed? Yeah. Or 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 felonies. What's an acceptable number? Of, oh. What's the acceptable number of, like, of, of death that you can tolerate between, like, a, for a million people? One percent? Well, one percent is what ten thousand people. That's in. That's a lot. Insane, yeah. right? I mean, ten thousand people didn't die in nine eleven. 
Exactly. That's like, insane. So yeah, I mean like less than one percent. One percent a day would be insane. So six six felonies a day on the New York subway out of four million riders a day, pretty good, right? I would say that's good odds. It feels pretty good. Yeah, I mean it feels good. Uh, but anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh uh, yeah.